Hi Virgo, welcome to your love reading. This is for the month of October 2020. I'm going to be picking out a card to represent your energy. And then I'm going to pick out another card to represent the energy of whoever you're dealing with in love. Whether that be a partner that you have or just someone that you're dating, someone that you're getting to know, someone you're interested in. Let's see what's going on. I actually already did your reading, but um, my dog started barking and um, I decided to um, delete the video because he was making a, a lot of noise. So I just decided that was a sign that, you know, I had to do the reading again. So, um, yeah, sometimes those things are omens. Um, signs telling you that, you know, um, giving you a message that you have to start, start it over, start the reading over. So I just go along with it. Okay, I'm going to go ahead, cut the deck, and, yeah, and I'm going to pick the card that represents your energy. And we have here the devil. Okay, Virgo. So the devil is a card of um, lust, of passion, of obsession, addiction. So Virgos, in the month of October, you might be feeling very um, obsessive about someone. Um, it, these two people are naked here, so I do feel like a lot of lustful attraction. There's someone who is really you know, who has really just caught your attention and who really sparks a fire in you and um, really seduces you and entices you and I feel like you're just very um, head over heels over someone and normally Virgos are a sign that like to think things through and they like to analyze things and um, you know, really um, evaluate things in their life, but I feel like you're not doing this in the month of October. I feel like you're being impulsive and you're just going along with whatever it is that you desire in the moment. So let's see the other person. For the other person we have the Five of Swords. So um, Virgos, I feel like the other person is kind of giving you the cold shoulder actually. Um, and I feel like this is you being obsessed over someone who is not giving you the time of day, you know, who is kind of ignoring you or being indifferent towards you. And maybe this person um, goes back and forth, you know, maybe, you know, sometimes they're very affectionate with you and then um, yeah, the next day they're very cold with you and they just you know they don't call you or text you and they just act very um distant with you um so i feel like there's some the other person who you're dealing with is kind of giving you mixed signals but i feel like there's something about them that just really makes you feel um attracted to them and like you can't help feeling seduced by them um there's just um, this energy of um, lust or passion between you two. Um, it's definitely unhealthy, I want to say. It's definitely an, 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 an unhealthy connection and unhealthy energy here. So I'm going to pick another card to clarify your energy. And we have here the Empress. Okay, so the Empress is a card of... Um, it's the card of pregnancy, it's the card of growth, um, it's the card of, it's the card of Venus, it represents um, sensuality, love, attraction, so like I said, I feel like you're just feeling very sensual in this month of October, you're feeling very womanly, very attractive, um, I feel like you really want to indulge in your desires and indulge in, in 
in pleasure, in, in the act of pleasure. Um, yeah, um, again, it just feels uh, obsession. It feels like an energy of, of obsession. Let me see the other person. To clarify the Five of Swords, we have the Chariot. So the Chariot, um, the Chariot is a very emotional energy, impulsive energy. So like again, again, I and I mentioned this before, it's, a, it's an energy of extremes. This is why there's a black cat and a white cat. Black and white are colors that are direct opposite to each other, so it represents extremes. So I feel like this person, like, um, really, like, like I said, they really, um, they really go after you. Like they really charge towards you. Like when they're in the mood for you, it's like it's it's only when they're in the mood. They really um, are very attentive to you. They just shower you with emotion and attention and affection. Um, but then at the same time, um, they just switch all of a sudden and then they're cold and distant and detached. So it's like a big yo-yo, I feel. Like a big, you know, um, back and forth energy of extremes. Um, and I feel like both of you are kind of reflecting each other in this. So it, it does feel like a little bit of a vicious cycle here between you two. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pick a, a card from this animal spirit deck. Um, I want to pick a card that represents the overall energy for you in this month of October in in regards to love and this relationship here. One card to represent the overall energy of this relationship. Okay, I'm gonna cut the deck. And we'll see what animal card you get. Okay, so we have here the deer. Um, I don't know much about the deer, but you know the deer, I do know that um, it's a very innocent animal and it's also a very like, um, you know, these, these animals are prey. Like, they're very easy prey. Um, almost all these wild cats like lions and tigers and cheetahs, um, they always go after the deer. So they're very like innocent prey. Um, they're very easy to, to sneak up on and attack or to, um, uh, deceive and to, uh, trick. So I do feel like this is the energy here in this relationship, um, it's like a there's an energy of I almost feel like it's mutual though like um, you're tricking him and they're tricking you you know um, I feel like both of you are playing each other and both of you are trying to um, be the one who wins each other like oh like like a competition type of energy like who's gonna who's gonna make the first move or who's going to um, fall first who's going to um, let down their walls first or who's going to give in to to the desire first to this um, obsession and this lust here like um, it feels a little bit mutual like both of you are playing each other um, and both of you are trying to um, prey on each other. So yeah, it does feel like a little bit, you know, unhealthy Virgo. So I hope this w reading helps you um, to be conscious of, to be conscious and aware of what's going on here. So I hope it, I hope this reading was helpful. So yeah, Virgo, I'll see you next time. Bye.